welcome to my YouTube. Nice to meet you. How you doing? I'm so happy to be here. I'm new here. And if you're new here, welcome. We're both new as of today. Um, but I just wanted to make a Q&A little video just to get to know me and welcome you to my page. Because if you decide to stay and subscribe, we're going to be friends, okay? And more importantly, we're probably going to be travel friends. I want my um, Penelope up, girl, like that. Up. She all up in my head. Okay, like she all up in my head. <laughs> Anywho, so I wanted to welcome you guys to my page, say hello, and just like, let's get to know each other. I do have a few questions here that I'm just going to go through. Not make this video too long because there's going to be other things for you to see on my page, but... Just wanted to answer a few questions so that way we can be acquainted. You can decide, hey, you my kind of girl. Okay, name, Dominice or Dom. <laughs> How old am I? I am 34 years old and I live in New York City uh, most days. Why are you starting a YouTube? Okay, um, I'm starting YouTube mainly because, well, one thing about me, I love sharing information. Um, I kind of think it's like another love language because I'm the girly, like, if you tell me, hey, I love your shirt, like, I'm gonna be like, girl, I got it from here and this is how much it costs. Or I'm gonna be like, girl, they got a sale, you know? Um, so pretty much my YouTube is for me to not only just share information of my travels and how like I do things, um, but just give you a glimpse of my life and the things that are always going on because I do have a like, it's not fast paced, but you know, I be doing something. I be living a little bit. <laughs> um, so I decided to, yeah, create a YouTube to pretty much share information about the things that I'm doing and how I'm doing it and where I'm in the world and where I'm going in the world. How do I do it with a young child and a husband with a full time job, you know? Because I'm gonna tell you right now, homegirl got a full time job, a full time man, a full time house, a full time baby, baby, okay? And I still make sure I'm gonna be out in these streets. Maybe not in the United States, but I'm gonna be out in these streets. So I would love to be able to share my experiences and I have a lot of knowledge, uh, some that I don't even know I have. Um, so yeah, this is why I decided to finally start YouTube and just document the journey as well as having a piece of just like my memories in a bank, like a digital video diary basically for me to come back from years you know years and years later that is why i'm finally deciding to start a youtube and i hope you subscribe ah, and like please like this okay like click subscribe whatever and send it to one of your little friends if you think they might like my page too <laughs> what do you do i i am actually i'm an accountant for an energy a green energy company what is you and your hubby's background oh are we getting into a love story okay maybe not <laughs> i'm gonna keep it quick and cute <laughs> but my husband and i we are actually college sweethearts so we've been together for a long time uh we have been together for oh maybe like 12 or 13 years. Like since I've been 21, we pretty much grew up as far as grew up in our young adult age together. So yeah, we are college sweethearts. We have now been married for five years. We now have a child who's about to be three. And we pretty much started, Chad, Chad and I started traveling pretty much right after college. We went on our first trip to our first like big trip was to Germany, Italy, and Greece. And that was in 2012. So it's 2024 when I said I got info. I got info, I got a lot of knowledge. <laughs> but um, yeah, so we've been traveling the world since 2012 together. Um, and met in college, which in Florida, Miami, Florida. 
and yeah we've been together ever since so we've been good i i can honestly say it's been a good fun ride we have so much fun together we're actually like friends uh, enjoy each other's time and pretty much that's our background we're college sweethearts we've been traveling we started traveling together in 2012 we got married in 2018 and then we had our baby in 2021 and here we are, 2024. Still one baby. I don't know when the next one comes, so don't even ask me. Okay, okay. Um, why do you travel? Ooh, good question. <sighs> because I think I should be a citizen of the world. I feel really connected to the earth. I don't know, like physically, not necessarily the people. But like earth, I want to see all the wonders. I want to see different people and cultures i want to learn about more than what i have you know what i have grown up around um to learn about other ways of being other ways of living other ways of life that might actually resonate with me more than the things that i have already from or you know different identities I've created over college, over time, you know, just growing up in the world as an adult. So I do feel like travel A is a way to just kind of bridge the gap between things. I think it gives you a more well-rounded view. I think it gives you more compassion and empathy. I think, I hope. And I do think it makes you more open as an individual. So for me, I love getting on a plane and going somewhere new and trying new foods and seeing the sights. I want to see it all. And I want to do stuff too. I, you know, I want to do something fun while I'm around. So, um, yeah, that's why I travel. It's so, to me, it's such a beautiful thing. And I encourage everyone to do it, which is why I'm here on YouTube, basically amongst all those other things that I said. <laughs> Where would you like to live in the future? Hmm. Um, definitely somewhere in Africa. I, hands down, I know I would be buying a home somewhere in some country in Africa. I have not personally visited enough countries yet to know which one. But I definitely know I want to have a residence and I want to live there for, a, I'm not going to ever say that I'm, yeah, I want to live there for some time, you know. Um, I don't know when, but life is full of mysteries and beautiful, magical things. So now I have been heard. <laughs> Um, okay. um oh one life goal one life goal that i have i definitely i want to okay so i'm the planet friend i'm the hosting friend i like to do little cutesy things i like to have events and i definitely 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 want to have like immersive event in another country that i'm putting on for black people no offense to anybody else but everything ain't for everybody, let's be for real. But I would like to definitely create an event outside of the United States that bridges the diaspora, like the African diaspora. I would like to hopefully connect. I would like to connect. So yeah, that's a life goal that I have to pretty much create a really like a travel event situation i don't i'm not saying it right but i know what it looks like and i know what i mean in my mind <laughs> so that's one of my life goals your bonus one of my life goals definitely i need to learn two more languages i only know english what's the problem i definitely want to learn two language two more languages so i def my life goal is to have a minimum three languages i'm late I'm running behind. I need to start. My Duolingo got dust on it. <laughs> so that is definitely a life goal of mine. I would, I'm hoping, hoping. It's gonna happen. I'm not even, I don't even have to hope for that. It's just gonna happen. Like, I just need to prioritize some things, move some things around. You know how that is? You know how that is. Oh, how, how do you travel so much? Okay. I am able to travel or we are able to travel so much because since 2020 Chad and I both have been pretty much fully remote 
Um, I actually now more recently, I go into my office, not my office, but I go into the office once a month to like meet the team. But that's a more recent development, which is really fun. I mean, it's cool because we get free lunch and it's like, it's great. And I get to see my coworkers and they're cool. And like we key key. And so once a month's not a big deal, but yes, for the most part, we can both work from anywhere. Um, before that, we still was traveling every like we would travel through uh like thanksgiving breaks we would like you know extend the thanksgiving break uh christmas break uh anything that had an extra day like we was finessing the system but i can honestly say we've been very just lucky and um blessed to have had jobs that have allowed us to be able to move as freely as we do. But yes, more recently, since 2020, the last four years, we both have remote jobs that we are able to work from anywhere for the most part, as long as we work our US hours, which is Eastern time. Um, but depending on where we are, that's not an issue. Um, so that I will say, yes, that is how we are able to travel so much. Um, it's a gift and a curse. It, it, there's pros and cons and that'll be another video, uh, because you're probably like, eh, no pros, no cons, blah, blah, blah. so but whatever. Uh, so yes, that's, that's how we are able to do it. And we are very, very, very appreciative and very yeah, just really grateful that we are able to live life like this because quite frankly, it was not in my realm of possibilities to be a fully remote person and able to just travel and go and, you know, I was able to stay home. We'll keep my baby home the first year. That was amazing. Like, it's just like because of what happened in 2020, uh, I mean, because of, yeah, the things that transpired from 2020 with COVID um it did you know benefit us in certain ways um that it did not do for everyone well and very appreciative of this and yeah there's that oh now we were just talking about pros and cons so this one is biggest con traveling with a small child uh, for sure, the schedule interruption, hands down. When you have a small child, they need routine, they need schedule, all the things. So when you're not at home and now you're out and about, you are just kind of, you might try to stay on a type of routine, but it just still gets out of whack. You're traveling, you're here, you're there, you're out later, you're up earlier, like all the things, you're everywhere. Your kids are with you all the time. Um, so yes, definitely the schedule disruption. And like for us, we had to, every time, like Levi has been sleep trained since, I don't know, he was one, we sleep like, he was sleep trained but every time we may travel he might end up sleeping with us for whatever reason obviously you know king bed that he'll sleep with us so then from there we might when we come home now he's used to sleeping with us so then we'll come home and he want to sleep with us and i'm like wait a minute so now i have to retrain him and it's a lot quicker because he technically is sleep trained but I have had to retrain him in his sleeping more than once. <laughs> and that is not nice. Um, so what are my socials? Dominies, my first name, <laughs> all of them. They do have some underscores, but I will put them here. But Instagram, Dominies, TikTok, Dominies, YouTube, Dominies, like that's my name. Clearly someone likes their name. Clearly someone has a complex because I never had a personalized thing when I went into the gas station, okay? So now I just put everything as my first name. It's easy for me to not have to worry about somebody else having it. Although there are other dominances, but please call me Dom because everybody calls me Dom, except for my mother. She calls me Dominice no matter what. <laughs> Anywho, 
I'm glad you guys came. I hope you stayed to the end of this video. I hope you feel like you've gotten to know me. I hope you feel I'm your type of girly. If I am your type of girly, please, please like, subscribe. And if you feel like I'm one of your little friends type of girly, please send this video to them so they can like and subscribe. Um, other than that, Go check out my other videos because hopefully I got at least one more than this by now. Like, this is the Q&A, but. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.